Hey YouTube, TopicWatt here, and welcome back to yet another TopicWatt video. Alright, so before I get into today's topic, I just want to talk about what's going on real quick. You see, every October I put on a little web series called Spooktober. These videos usually consist of me doing reviews of old Halloween movies, TV shows, etc. So if that sounds interesting to you, there will be a playlist in the iCard. Okay, now we're going to move on to today's topic. The video we'll be watching today is called How to Carve Great Faces for Halloween. It was made back in 1988. Now I have to mention, this is not in fact human faces, but pumpkin faces. Okay, so the video itself is just a quick little instructional video on how to carve pumpkins. Alright, so what exactly am I going to be doing? Well, I'm going to use this instructional video to teach me how to carve pumpkins. So yeah, let's just go into the garage real quick. Okay, YouTube, so right now I'm in my garage because I'm gonna start carving these pumpkins. Children should not attempt to carve without adult supervision. Oh, wait, I don't have any adults in here, do I? Hey, Papa Watt, do I have any adults in here? Yeah, I guess I can be your adult. <sighs> Alright, let's get started. Happy Halloween, everybody. I'm Gordy Fall. <laughs> get it? Get it? Gordy Fall? Because gourds grow in fall? <laughs> And this Halloween, I want to teach you how to carve a few really innovative, neat jack-o'-lanterns. The fact that he said it was innovative, I don't understand. It's just carving pumpkins. This isn't Microsoft. About eight years ago, I started carving pumpkins, and it got a little out of hand. I carved between 500 and 800 different pumpkins every Halloween. 500 to 800? Back in my day, that was just a good day's work. I cut the thousands of pumpkins. If you come with me now, we'll get started. We're going to carve a few pumpkins, show you the tricks, and have a lot of fun. There we go. Oh. Oh. <coughs> what was with that? Was what? Oh my gosh. We've got a nice little five pound pumpkin here. And the first thing we have to do is get the top off. Most people make an elemental mistake. The pumpkin is a great big huge piece of God's creation. And they want a great big huge knife. I got me a big old knife right here. I think this might be what he's talking about. You see what he got there on the screen? And they reach in the drawer and pull out something that you could probably win the Peloponnesian Wars with. What are the Penelopesian Wars? I don't know. Them wars. Now, you pick a knife like this, you are doomed to carve straight lines. Because, and we'll use the back side of this pumpkin, which is the practice side, you stick it in and you cannot make a turn. Well, he got a point there, kids. That kind of thing, it's only gonna go one way. Could you stop swinging that around? I got knife control. My knife goes where I control it. Knife control. What you want to do, and this goes for detopping, and we'll get more into the selection of knives for the actual face itself a little later on. You want to pick one of the skinniest knives in your drawer. Okay, so we did actually pick up something from Walmart. It's a pumpkin carving kit. Um, it was relatively cheap, and we're pretty prepared. Well, we ain't totally prepared. I think you got the channel saw the pumpkin cutter 3000 last year. It just, it just busted a blade, so I'll be using my traditional knifery and watching this young pup try to do his pumpkin carving kit. Now, you notice while I'm carving, the knife is in at about a 45 degree angle. And you see this here? That's a good cut. I got the saw blade side going here on this Rambo, mini Rambo knife. I make a little bit of a curly cue. You can carve a square or there's any number of ways to do it. This just seems to be a nice easy way. And the top goes back on. So what's next? Uh, well, I have to carve mine out. So I have this little dinky thing. It probably isn't gonna do much. 
That thing's something you can clean your teeth with. It ain't made for oh, taking off the top of a pumpkin. What about this one? That ain't gonna be any better, boy. Okay, what should I use? Here. All right, this is a lot better. <laughs> I almost sliced my hand off. <laughs> you gotta get a real tight turn in there. There you go. Oh, that's good. There we go. We got the top off, and we're ready to take out the insides. Some people would rather slaughter a cow than take the insides out of a pumpkin. I, I think slaughtering a cow would be a lot more work than just taking the insides out of a pumpkin. Never mind the dead body smell. I gotta say, that guy don't know nothing. Cow just stinks. You get in them guts and stuff, it's nothing like the inside of the pumpkin. Woo-wee! Pumpkin spice without the spice! What's wrong with you? It's pumpkin spice season! And if you have any luck at all, at the end, you get to the bottom, you scrape sideways, straight down, because that's where it's attached to. And you got it all in one nice big lump. And, Lord willing, pumpkin is almost clean. Reach your hand in there, boy. Just take it out. It ain't gonna bite you. Ugh. It's just uh, pumpkin guts. Uh, I hate this. You know, boy, you're missing out on the best part of the pumpkin gut. You just need to dig your hand in there deep and just take a big old swaller. It's awesome. An attractive face is one with curves, just like yours. There's not a straight line on any human being's face. I feel like that's more of an opinion than statement. Yeah, I don't know about that. I, I got me a great design I'm working on. It's gonna be amazing. And I don't think it's got a round line in it. This is probably the number one knife that I use, and it can be bought at any store. This dude's really out here flexing his knife game on us. Now we're ready to think about putting a face on this guy. Most people, unless they know exactly ahead of time in their head what they want to put on the pumpkin, will draw something first. So this was recorded in the 80s. Obviously, technology has advanced a lot, and now we have these things where basically you can just kind of wet down the paper and then put it on there. I'm going to try that out for this since we did use a Sharpie last year. All right, I think you should just use your imagination like I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go straight at it. All right, so I did an awful job of explaining what was going on, but basically all I had to do was wet down the piece of paper, then slap it on the pumpkin, and then start carving it from there. But then I ran into a problem. So I am having a slight problem. The uh, paper is a little bit too wet, so it's kind of just disintegrating as I'm carving it out. So... Like I said, son, you should use your imagination. That was oddly aggressive. And there we go, boy. We got us a piece of art. Check this action out. That is the bestest pumpkin you ever done seen now, isn't it? All right, this is my pumpkin. Uh, I don't know if it looks good or not. Let me know down below. Okay, guys, so our pumpkins are now finished and I mean we learned a lot during this he did most of the work of course that's what dads do if you guys are new to the channel I do videos very similar to this except for he's not usually in them so no. Halloween special only so if that's something you guys truly do care about bah! spooked ya and yeah I will catch you all next time